Hi everyone, welcome back to Lifestyle Love on Sugar Mama TV. So this video is something um, very different and a little bit personal that I'm doing. This video is how to heal or cure a broken heart. Now, I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I'm actually a hypersensitive person. Um, I feel things on a very, very deep level emotionally as well as physically. And at times when I've had my heart broken, um, it's been really hard to get through and I found it very, very consuming. But over time, as sometimes it happens to people, you get your heart broken a few times, you, um, I guess, learn from the experiences and you learn the little um, tips and tricks to help your heart recover a lot quicker and to learn and grow from that experience. So I've done, for this video, I've made I'm making my top five um, tips and tricks to help heal a broken heart. So here we go. Step one is talk to family and friends. Talk with people who you know have gone through similar experiences and come out the other side and survived. Seeing their strength, listening to the words of wisdom that they might have for you and the lessons they learned from it will help give you strength to just hang in there and get through this. My dad always said to me, a problem shared is a problem halved, and I couldn't agree with him more. Step two, focus on wholeness. S rejoice in the solitude, get to know yourself again, understand you know, what things are important to you, what you value, what are deal breakers, um, what were the red flags in the relationship, why did we choose to ignore those red flags, what things are negotiable, what things can we learn about ourselves that we need to work on and grow as a person and focus on using this as a time to grow and become wiser and focus on things that are important to you so that you can attract those things into your life. Step three, feel the pain. Emotions are just like clouds. They might be there now, but they're not going to stay there permanently. They do move on. Um, one of my best friend's dad says, you're allowed to feel sorry for yourself, but only for a short period of time. Yes, your heart needs to heal and rebuild itself, but you've got to remember that people like being around people who are happy and uplifting and have a high vibration. So allow yourself time to, to sulk and to feel the pain and get through it, but you do need to focus on getting through the other side of the pain and growing and you know finding your happiness again. I think Mr. Vickery has some very wise advice for me there. <laughs> Four, keep your dignity and self-respect. When you have a broken heart, it is so easy to be feeling angry and um, jealous and just want to seek revenge. But at the end of the day, more often than not, that just completely backfires and you end up feeling even more upset and more angry at yourself. You want to keep your head up high and know that you did the right thing, you acted honestly, and you acted with authenticity. So don't succumb to you know, the temptation of trying, trying to prove them wrong or um, trying to make them feel regret the decision that they may have made. That's just silly and it's going to get you nowhere. The best revenge is really success and happiness. So use this time to just focus on yourself and rebuilding yourself because all that matters right now is you and your happiness. Step five is to focus on a project. Now, I'm not going to take any credit for step five because this actually advice came from Matthew Hussey's YouTube channel and um, he has an amazing channel for women on relationship advice and understanding men. And his advice actually really helped me. So I think step five is probably the most beneficial step out of these steps for you. But his advice is focus on a project, not a project that's going to distract you, but a project that you're going to feel passionate about and connected to so that you can rebuild your confidence, your happiness, and you start to feel really fulfilled and a sense of achievement. Because from that, you know, your confidence will grow your feelings of self-wealth will definitely improve and you'll become happier and therefore more attractive to other people. And ever so slowly, when your heart is ready, it will start to open up again and potentially attract more exciting adventures and experiences and people into your world again. Now, when you have a very badly broken heart, 
folk finding a project um, might take a while but that's okay you can just break down those projects is to you know for the first half of the day or just focus on a project for that week or that month it doesn't need to be a huge project and you could even maybe focus on doing the thousand dollar project because that's definitely something that I really enjoyed in helping you know be a good distraction but not a band-aid in moving on from my broken heart and it's been a lot of fun doing it so just take Take each day as it comes. Um, don't be afraid. Life does move on. And remember that things happen for a reason. And two other little things that I like to do when I'm feeling a little bit down in the dumps. Um, I like to listen to uplifting music. And I like to ask myself the three month rule, which is how am I going to feel about this in three months? And if I ponder this um, for a couple of seconds, I'll realize that in three months time, I'm actually not going to worry too much about it. So why should I waste too much energy worrying about it right now? Anyway, I hope this video um, helps give you some faith and um, some beneficial ideas to help heal your broken heart. Please know that if you have a broken heart right now, you are definitely not alone. And having a broken heart means that we've actually opened ourselves to an amazing, beautiful experience. And it's all part of our own journey and personal growth. So my heart does go out to you if you have a broken heart and I hope that it heals quickly and you know you recover from it and become a wiser, happier um, person. So that's it for this lifestyle love video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, please make sure you subscri subscribe <laughs> and you can also follow me on uh, Instagram at sugarmama.tv and on my personal account which is Canna Sass. Anyway, ciao for now. I'll see you next Thursday for my next lifestyle love video. Ciao! <laughs>